To finish tonight's episode, Colm is off to see a family-run business near Lusk that has had global success with a plant that grows in a six-inch pot. He's visiting Tully Nurseries. 2021 certainly was the year that we all went a bit wild for gardening. Green fingers seem to be a side effect of COVID-19. With gardening blooming like never before, and astonishingly, according to Board B's annual report in 2020, Irish people spent over a billion euro on their gardens. A trip to the garden centre during COVID became a very popular pastime. But have you ever stopped and wondered, hey, who supplies your local garden centre or even the bigger centres all over the country? Well, you don't have to travel too far north to Dublin Airport to find out who. This is Tully Nurseries. It was started back in 1973 by Martin and Joan Tully. They began growing plants on a half acre for Martin's landscape business. And now, nearly 50 years on, he and his family have expanded to over 25 acres in total of prime growing space. We actually grow over a million plants per annum. Up in the plant centre, we've over 4,000 products from grasses and perennials and alpines and our new Hebe varieties. So you're buying in plug plants, but it's still a long journey before they're ready for the customer. Yeah, for example, if we're buying in shrubs that are evergreen plants, they need to come in in July. And I guess if people don't realise, we have to mine them till the following February or March. Um, pot them on, they go onto the potting machine, and then they're put on the ground, and sometimes we have to spray them, water them. We have to talk to our suppliers like a year before that. Garden centres are one of your main customers, but what does it take to supply the suppliers? Okay, so obviously it's really important we're looking at trends um, a long time in advance and looking at numbers. And we've got better that in recent years we have, let's say, a brochure of, our, of the plants that we specialise in. We have a new concept area that they come six months before and they see what's going on. Um, even working with our suppliers, they're great um, at knowing current trends and they're pr prompting us as well. So we've lots of people feeding in to what, how we produce and, and to the scale we need to produce at. But the story of Tully Nurseries isn't just their success of supplying garden centres all over Ireland and the UK. Another great little story is planted in a very small pot, about six inches tall, and has become a global success story for this North Dublin family. It's their very own brand of Hebe shrubs, and it all started with Martin Tully Sr. So what's unique about a Hebe plant? What I find is unique about it is that they're so diverse you have them, they're round, of course, because where they're native of New Zealand, the wind blows them and they're round in shape. There's prostrate ones, ones with lovely foliage, variegated foliage, brown foliage. In the autumn time, they change color as well, which is a great plus for them. As the weather gets colder, the shoots, the tips of them change. And that's why I use them and they always look well. Tully Hebe shrubs have not only won multiple awards here and in the UK, but they also own the rights to their own Hebe plants. So when someone is looking to grow and reproduce a Tully Hebe, they pay royalties. So creating and discovering new varieties is important to the Tully nurseries. The ideal one, of course, if you come across it, is a sport or a mutation. This is one, an example, where we have the parent plant, which is mint chocolate, and now the sport appears in it. So the sport is totally different than the parent, both to look at, as you can see, and genetically also. Now, a mutation in the plant world is a faulty chromosomal uh, uh, breakdown in the plant, and uh, it produces a variegated shoot, or maybe even a flower could be different and we'd isolate that and we'd build up the plants and propagate from that, which takes a while. And do they produce these natural deviations often? Not often, no. So when you see one, in the evening time when I walk around the nursery is a good time when it's twilight and I, I can spot them then when the light isn't as bright. And of course, when you see one of them, it's like winning uh, the lottery. Did you spot this one? I did indeed, and one evening I'm going by and see this beautiful sport and I couldn't believe uh, my eyes. What's it feel like to have your plants sold globally? 
Oh, it's wonderful, especially when you see uh, the plant lists coming out from those nurseries, let it be in New Zealand or Australia, and it's lovely to see your own plant that originated in Ireland and it, it, it flies the flag uh, on behalf of our country and horticulture, which I think is great. And how important are the hebes to the overall business? They really are quite special. We're unique because of our hebes. We grow lots of different plants from perennials, we want flower power, um, instant colour on your patio. But when you think of the hebes, it's really put us on the map. And even when we go to shows and we talk to people about our new variety, there are varieties and people suddenly start listening. Mm. So it's really quite special and I think they always will be.